Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Look, do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Take a second, hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell. At the end of this video, make sure you check out all of the links below. We have some tools there that will help you be a better trader and make more money, all right? So uh, let's talk about today. Let's talk about what's going on. First of all, uh, for those of you that don't know, I am Larry Jones and this this whole family is the family known as Stock Up with Larry Jones, where we like putting coffee cups in the emoji. All right. So um, so leave me a coffee cup emoji. Listen, let's talk about what's going on. First of all, I want you to know that tomorrow, Monday, um, the stock market will be closed tomorrow. Right. We know that crypto trades 24 hours, but the stock market will be closed tomorrow in observance of President's Day, I believe it's President's Day, whatever. Uh, but it's going to be closed and there will be no trading, all right? Um, I will have a morning where I don't have to be up in the pre-markets and I won't be feeding the Patreon tomorrow morning, all right? So we could take a break, right? we could, we can we can relax and take a break. Let me see if I can see without, uh, without this blur, blare from the uh, uh, sun. All right, let's get right into it, listen. The stock market is high. It is, uh, it's really high. Portfolios are looking well, but it's also scary. Everybody's scared. Um, everybody that is up or has a lot of money in the stock market, you're nervous, right? If you're nervous, leave me a, leave me a chat. I, I know I am. And, uh, but I have a, a, a lot more money in cash than I have in the stock market. And it's just where I am in the cycle, okay? I put some of my money to work, but not all of my money to work. So I'm not as scared as some others that have all of their money in the stock market, which is fine, right? If you're in those long-term plays, you're fine, okay? But um, when it's high like this, you know, I'm just going to say this, and, and I've, all, I've always been saying this, you never need permission or you never should ask permission, or you never should follow anyone else when it pertains to taking profits. Look, I've helped you guys uh, uh, to make a lot of money. You guys are better traders. You guys are making a lot of money. One of the posts that I like seeing over and over and over again is I took profits. I love it when I see I took profits because those gains, no one can take away from you. It's not what you make. It's not your purchase price. It's your sale price. It's your take profit price, all right? So, uh, you know, there's a saying, you don't lose money until you sell, like if you sell at a loss. Well, the other part of that is, is you don't make money until you sell for a profit. So just think about that. That, that coin has two sides to it, all right? Listen, in crypto, I'm going to do a deep dive in crypto. For those of you that have the class, this week, I'm going to put an emergency lesson in the crypto chapter because this cycle appears to be changing, okay? And so we could take all that we've learned in the crypto chapter, you know, and hopefully you guys are already making money and you're set your, your, your position to make money. But because of the spot ETFs, the spot ETFs and the amount of Bitcoin that they're buying, um, I want you guys to know that this 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 cycle is early. It appears to be early. So I'm going to make that uh, this week and post it. We have time. So now I'm I'm talking about balance, being balanced and being safe. Stock market at an all time high. It could do a 20 to 30 percent. It's funny. They are both about the same. What I see. It, it could do, it could do a pullback. It, it could, it could do a cool off. I'm talking about the stock market now. And because it's so high. Now, we know that this is an election year and that's actually positive for the stock market. We know that we have an incumbent president, meaning the sitting president is running again, right? And, uh, so it's, it's a political year. You know, don't, let's not get pol political about the outcome. Let's look at the facts. Let's look at the receipts. Just see what happens normally during a cycle like this where there's an incumbent president running and it's a, an election year, okay? I've said it time and time again.
the numbers are good, job numbers come out good, gas is low, you know, unemployment is low. All of this, it just magically happens every time there's an election year, right? But we play this game with them. We make money just like the big boys make money. And uh, so that's what we like. So I'm going to say this about crypto and for all of you that have the crypto miners, I'm not going into any individual crypto miner. I'm going to say this. If you are not ready for a 20-ish percent pullback and you don't have a stop loss set, you, you are, you're not doing yourself, a, a, you're, you're actually doing yourself a disjustice. Be careful because crypto at the flip of a switch could pump up to 55 or it could fall back down and it could fall do these flash crashes by 20%. Now, me personally, I'm prepared to buy more if it does that. It's not going to freak me out. In my crypto miners, uh, most of all of them are up over 25%-ish. And the ones that are not up 25%, I'm not going to continue to uh, dollar cost average into those. I'm just going to wait. Now, if it drops, if those drop by 20%, then I'm going in more, right? So I just want to be clear. Now, it's listen, you should have a stop loss set. And for those of you that took profit, congratulations. I, I love it when you guys take profits because those profits are locked in. All right. Make sure you never over trade. And lastly, not lastly. And again, remember that Monday, the stock market is closed. Right. So we get a day to breathe. Good people. We get a day to breathe. So um, what I may do. um, this coming week is I may post Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday instead of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off and just chill. Like if I do pop up, it's gonna be something uh, like yesterday's video. I'm telling you, if you didn't listen to yesterday's video, you just you you need to. I'm going to leave that in this box. Eventually, you're gonna see a box with a suggested video at the end of this video, and you should watch that. And so what I'm going to do now on my inspirational portion, because it is Sunday, and um, I love Sundays. I love inspiring you guys because it's my call. It's what I love to do. And somebody says, hey, Larry, can you continue to talk about, you know, you've been killing it with the stocks and you've been killing it with the crypto. Can you not be inspiring and can you not talk about, you know, keep the spiritual part out? No, I can't. I absolutely can't, sir. Um, I can't because it's, it's who I am. It's my DNA. I inspire. My my purpose on coming on this platform is to inspire you. I'm not an influencer. I'm not here to, to influence you. I'm here to inspire you to have a good life, whole life, not just monetarily. Listen, um, um, listen, um, there is a scripture that says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, this is my inspiration. I'm already in there. That's second Corinthians. Liberty, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And what you've been seeing, what the TV has been showing you and some of these uh, uh, political parties, all right, has been showing you the ugliest of believers, right? Angry and all they have is fire and brimstone and hell and all of this. Now, we do know that there's judgment. Don't get it twisted. There is judgment, all right? Live by the sword, die by the sword. But we, there is liberty, meaning there is freedom, there's room for you and I, uh, uh, and we have to understand that we are put here for each other. What I'm going to phrase this is, let's go where we're celebrated and not to tolerated. Yesterday, my message was, treat them like the plague. And, and, and I want you to watch that video because you don't want to be around negative naysayers all of the time. Doomsday naysayers all of the time. It's toxic. Treat those people that's telling you, you can't do this. You can't invest. They got a friend that lost all of their money. You can't start a business. You can't start a high, uh, side hustle. Why are you doing that? Treat those people like the plague. That was yesterday's video. Today, I'm going to say, go where you celebrate it and not tolerate it. For those of you that's old enough to remember Cheers, the TV show, I love it, where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came. I just left a restaurant. All of the waitresses know me. I, my wife laughs because they all hug me, all of them. 
They, they, because I go in there, the waiter, the bus boy, I make them feel like a million dollars every time they see me, right? Just remember that too. Like you could take one minute and change somebody's whole day, change you. They might be at the brink of committing suicide and just one kind word from you may, may alter their direction. So look, I keep saying it be kind and rewind, but it is. Look, there's another scripture, John 10, 10, that says, the thief cometh not, but to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the thief comes to do, to kill, steal, and destroy. Some of these people that's been negative in your life, they are destroying you. They are thieves. They're killing your dreams. They're destroying your financial freedom future. Understand, there's a thief that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Like I said on yesterday, unfortunately, some of you are married to that thief. Some of you, that thief is your boss, some of the, your relatives, your sons, your daughters. You, that's who the thief is, okay? And they are killing and stealing your dreams, your joy. Man, there was an old Michael Jackson song. I want to be where you are. Man, I used to love that song when I was when I was a young young lad. Um, I used to love hearing that song. I want to be where you are. Oh, just want to be where you are. Oh, 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 go find that. When they go to that part, I don't you know I don't even, I don't even listen to everything else he's saying, but that part. You know, when I came out, man, I used to, I'm not going to say when it came out, but when I used to hear that, man, it was this, this, this girl that I used to think of all the time in grade school. Like, man, I just wanted to be where she was. I love the way she looked, smell, walk, talk. She could have farted out and be like, man, that's the cutest. Mm, that smells like daffodils and rose petals, you know, and that's the way it is. Now, fast forward, I heard that song the other day. It makes me think about my mom. I just want to be where you are. Just want to be where you are, right? Those are the people that you want to hang around. Those are the people that celebrate you, are happy that you're in the room, don't want anything from you, didn't come to take from you. Those are the people that you want to be with, okay? And then after this scripture, John 10, 10, that says the thief cometh not but to kill, steal, and destroy, it also says, I come that you may have life and that more abundantly, right? And so it just doesn't mean financially. It means mentally, spiritually. You should be smiling. You should have a good time on the green days and on the red days. Just know that your future is bright. Your future is so bright. I need sunglasses to see it. Your future is so bright. I need shades to see it, all right? So I want you guys to know that, you know, somebody going to say, this dude, come on here. He's preaching. Yep. This is my platform. You do what you want to do. Negative people. You're just going to get blocked. All right. You come over here. Change that stinking thinking. Come over here and join this family where we stay positive and we make money. But we encourage you. We want you to have an abundance. We want you to love and to be loved. We want you to get away from the toxic people and get around people that what celebrate you and not tolerate you. I know I'm speaking to somebody today, if not my own self, okay? I love you guys. I will see you Tuesday, okay? Remember to check out the links below if you're on your cell phone. Tap the heading of this video. We'll see you.